Harry Reid, John Podesta, and the Clean Energy Scam. Lachlan Markley of the Associated Press did a March 2015 expose of the money flow between Senator Harry Reid, privileged renewable energy companies, his infrastructure of former aides, and Hillary Clinton Chief of Staff John Podesta. Corporate donors to a green energy nonprofit called the Clean Energy Project, formed by Senate Minority Leader Harry Reid and John Podesta, along with former Reid staffers and a current campaign operative, received billions of dollars in federal loan guarantees and grant money as a result of Reid's advocacy. For example, Fulcrum Bioenergy began contributing to the Clean Energy Project in 2013. One year later, Nevada Democrat Reid steered tens of millions of dollars in federal grant money to the California Biofuel Company. Fulcrum is one of at least nine corporate donors to the Clean Energy Project that have secured federal financing for themselves or a client due in part to Reid's unethical behind-the-scenes advocacy. I'm John Podesta. I'm the president of the Center for American Progress Action Fund. Uh, and before I get started, I'd like to thank uh, Senator Harry Reid, uh, who is not only the majority leader in the United States Senate and the leader of the Senate, but a leader on these clean energy issues. And Reid's aide, Rebecca Lamb, founded CEP in 2008 along with Podesta's Center for American Progress and served as its first executive director. Lamb has been Reid's top strategist since 2003 when he placed her as executive director of the Nevada Democratic Party and has been his key aide through his aborted 2016 re-election campaign. Reid's former chief of staff, Susan McHugh, served as CEP's president at that time as well. Lamb is now an advisor to CEP according to her official bio. McHugh is a member of its board. McHugh and Lamb also run Senate Majority PAC, Reid's powerhouse super PAC that spent $97 million to elect Senate Democrats in 2016. In 2015, when questions were raised about Reid's incestuous ties between the Clean Energy Project and monetary benefits to his friends, McHugh denied that the political considerations played any part in donations to CEP or Reid's efforts to steer subsidies to those donors. In an email statement, she said, the group does not do any federal lobbying on behalf of its supporters. Senator Reid has long worked to make Nevada the clean energy capital for the country, successfully bringing new companies and thousands of good new jobs to the state. He would and will do that whatever they support, whether they supported CEP or not, unquote. Clean Energy Project, CEP, is supposedly a nonprofit and nonpartisan organization, but you couldn't tell the nonpartisan part from its staff. Reid claims the green energy companies he has enticed to Nevada bring multiple benefits, but given the precipitous drop in hydrocarbon costs since 2008, what it really means is many Nevadans were li left holding the bag. A short list of companies that benefit from Reid's intervention is instructive. Looking at the sponsors of Reid's yearly Clean Energy Summit, we find the Center for American Progress, the Clean Energy Project, MGM Resorts International, and the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. MGM has long been Reed's largest campaign donor because of his ties to late billionaire Kirk Kerkorian. Businesses interested in hosting an exhibit at the Mandalay Bay Convention Center pay between $4,000 and $5,000 for a booth at, quote, a boutique trade show. So it appears that the Clean Energy Project acts as a clearinghouse for payouts to Reed's friends, family, aides, politicians, and a flotilla of lawyer lobbyists like John Podesta in the multi-million, billion-dollar energy sector. How an energy slush fund helps Nevadans in general is hard to decipher. John Podesta, founder of the Center for American Progress, CAP, and former chairman was a CEP board member until at least September 2013. CAP has sponsored the National Clean Energy Summit since it was created in 2008. Podesta was on President Bill Clinton's staff as well as Obama's, and then became chief of staff for Hillary Clinton's 2016 campaign. So you can't be more politically connected than he is. Podesta was the 2014 Clean Energy Summit's keynote speaker and received a Founders Award, hardly a nonpartisan affair. John and his brother Tony's lobbying firm, the Podesta Group, ended up having incestuous business ties with the renewable energy industry and began re representing Falcom in April 2014. At the 2014 summit, Agriculture Secretary Tom Vilsack announced a $105 million grant for the company, and the Defense Department awarded it another $70 million two weeks later. Funding for the Center for American Progress is strictly a function of the left, as for the Clean Energy Project. The Center for American Progress is a 501c3 organization under U.S. Internal Revenue Code. 
It has received tens of millions of dollars of funding over the years from individuals, foundations, labor unions, and corporations. Major donors include George Soros, Peter Lewis, Steve Bing, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the Embassy of the United Arab Emirates, and Urban Marion Sandler. The center also receives sums from corporate donors including Walmart, Citigroup, Wells Fargo, defense contractor Northrop Grumman, America's Health Insurance Plans, and Eli Lilly and Company. CAPSA Energy Offshoot, Clean Energy Project, and its corporate supporters, including alternative energy firms, aides, and politicians, similarly expect to benefit from green energy technology subsidies that Reid pushed while in leadership in the Senate. CEP is incestuous, run by Reid insiders and funded by those who wanted Reid's political influence. It is tied at the hip to the Center for American Progress. Ormat Geothermal obtained a $350 million loan guarantee after Reid intervened as well as $100 million in federal financing for Nevada Geothermal, an ORMAT contractor. Reed's former Deputy Chief of Staff, Kai Anderson, represented ORMAT as a Cassidy & Associates lobbyist, a lobbying firm and CEP donor. Solar Reserve was another CEP donor Reed aided in secure, securing financing, pushing the Department of Energy in 2010 to speed approval of a three, $737 million loan guarantee. CEP donor Nevada Energy got a $138 million stimulus grant after Reed said, quote, I advocated for this funding. Reed also pushed extending solar power tax credits for Solar City, another CEP donor. In 2012, the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee investigated the Obama administration's green energy project funding. Quote, the strong ties between the company and the Senate Majority Leader raised questions about whether the DOE acted in the best interest of the American people when it approved ORMAT's loan guarantee, quote, the committee wrote. From the Clean Energy Project's website, we find its board is filled with cronies with intimate ties to Reed and to his legislative largesse. Beyond Podesta, other Reed cronies on the board of Nevada CEP have been the following. Rose McKinney James. McKinney James represents Ammonex, a solar company that received federal backing after Reed went to work on its behalf. Quote, I made sure the Recovery Act included almost $6 million in tax credits to help Ammonex open this facility, unquote, Reed said in 2010 of the company's Las Vegas production plant. Ammonex later failed to meet its contract obligations to produce solar panels and collapsed. Reed also aided McKinney James' client Bombard Renewable Energy. She sits on the board of MGM Grand Resorts International, MGM Detroit, and Employers Holding Incorporated. MGM traditionally has been Reed's largest campaign contributor due to his long professional ties to the late billionaire Kirk Kerkorian. Reed helped bail Kerkorian and Dubai World out of the failed city center fiasco with a billion dollar plus in loans. Analyzing the Clean Energy Project's Nevada board members, one finds not a single engineer, environmental engineer, or business person who has actually produced a product in private industry. These are all Reed's aides or environmental lobbyists, appendaged with lobbyist Sig Rogich, head of Republicans for Reed. Given Rogich's use of Reed to back his Desert Express high-speed rail boondoggle, we are not dis surprised to see him here as well, attracted the flames of subsidized government money provided by his lifelong friend Harry Reed. Other former CEP board members have conveniently slid into jobs in the private energy sector. Of course, the stream of funds and payoffs is too complex to easily follow. What is clear is that the citizens of Nevada aren't actually the ones benefiting from Senator Reed's energy initiatives. Otherwise, the price of electricity in Nevada should be rock bottom. Rather, what has been created is a vast energy monopoly with strict barriers to entry that benefit cronies of Harry Reid and John Podesta. The incestuous ties led to over $3 billion in subsidies.